guys, welcome back to Steep Riders. I'm Emily and today I'm gonna to be reviewing my own personal helmet, which is the AGV K3 SV. Uh, my one is um, a Rossi replica from 2014 and um, it's got handprints of his friends and family all over it. It's got the lipstick marks of his mum and his missus on the front two sides there. And on the back, you've even got his dog's paw prints. I just thought it was a really nice uh, sentimental design and not only that, the bright colours um, are obviously key in terms of safety. So I'm just going to start off at the front here with my visor. I've got the standard visor fitted and it comes with a pin lock system um, so that just prevents uh, that steaming up which is great. It's meant to be really easy to take off this visor, it's no tool removal. Personally, I can't say I've ever done it so I can't personally vouch for that but um, that's what I am told. You've also got the sun visor, which comes down from this little lever on the side here, this little red lever, if you can see that. Um, so that just literally flicks up and flicks back down again. Um, my previous helmet, I had it on the top, um, which I found a little bit easier to do while you're riding, but um, that's just personal preference, really. There's no issues with this. Um, moving on to the ventilation. So we've got five vents um, at the front. Got these um, ones slide, so there's one on each side of that. Um, you've got one in the middle here, which is, as I say, that was where my um, sun visor was on my previous helmet. Um, it does open halfway as well. I can't say I've ever required it open halfway while I'm riding, that's a little bit fiddly to do. Um, but the option's there, should you need it. You can also push this one up, just get a little bit of ventilation through the bottom there. And there is one underneath. This one is definitely the most fiddly to do. I do struggle with that while I'm riding, um, just in terms of, it's a little lever on your chin, just under this chin cushion thing, and um, you just have to flick up and down, but finding that is a little bit tricky. Um, bit of a design flaw, um, in my opinion. Inside, while well, we've got the helmet like this, um, the lining is removable and washable. Um, also, this helmet, um, the sizing means that you can actually change out some of the inner linings. So my helmet is a small, um, but the medium small that they also do um, has a small shell, but different sized cushions. So if I was to find my helmet too small, even after I'd worn it in, I could actually exchange out the cushions from inside, um, which is just really nice to know. You've also got the cutouts inside, which you won't be able to see, but there's cutouts for speakers. Um, I've got the Cardo system, Cardo 4 Plus, in my uh, helmet, and the speakers slot in really nicely to that, and um, it slips just on this rim around the bottom. You do find with some helmets, the rim's too thick and it doesn't have the cutouts. And then those intercom systems just don't sit quite so nicely. They're not quite so comfortable. They do push against your ears and things. Um, but you'll have no issues with this helmet um, if you want to fit one of those. That's really good. And the strap underneath is one of these really easy release straps. So it's just got that little red tab you just pull and it slides straight out um, and it slides straight back in. It's kind of hard to do while I'm behind the helmet, but yeah, it slides straight back in, really secure. Um, in terms of a material, um, let me just read what that is, because that is obviously our most important feature. So it's made from a lightweight, high-resistant thermoplastic resin, uh, H-I-R-T-H. Um, so it's, it is kind of AGB helmets, they're not well, this particular AGB helmet, it's not one of the top of your range helmets. It's not gonna be, um, that's kind of super duper safe uh, fiberglass kind of uh, material, but it does meet all your, all your EU standards um, in terms of safety. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, thankfully, I've not, um, not had to experience this um, in a crash. And so, fingers crossed, I don't ever have to, but um, the back of the helmet, You've got, obviously, Rice's number, you've got these two bits of um, like rear like ventilation where the air escapes from. It's really streamlined. You will get um, not a lot of wind noise, actually. Um, something I was a little bit worried about this helmet, but no, no wind noise, um, or not to, not to a great extent. So yeah, I think that just about covers it. If you've got any questions at all, feel free to drop in the comments and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching.